Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another Toy Hacks review because I received these fantastic decals for this fantastic bot. Which, let's do the test. I, I don't recall if mine are... Eh, not too loose, so I guess that's a plus for me. I was lucky, I was one of the first people I know and I follow on YouTube to have a sludge and I was so excited, I wanted to be the first to review it. So I did it live and it sucked. So I'm never gonna do that again. No, actually, no, I did uh, this guy afterwards on the live stream, but uh, yeah, it's not a transformer, so there's no transformation or anything, so. But yeah, uh, doing this guy, I love him. He's fantastic. I'm eagerly waiting for Snarl, which is my favorite of the Dinobots. Well, it's kind of a tie with uh, Slag. Uh, not too excited about Swoop. I'm not the biggest fan of this guy, but uh, he's important, I want him for the collection. But uh, let's see what this guy looks with uh, decals. Uh, but before we do so, don't forget to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel. And also wait until the end to see the discount code for DJC Collectible, my sponsor. Fantastic online store. Uh, local pickup for me, but uh, I hear he has great packaging, so check it out. And uh, that's pretty much it, so let's take a look at uh, Sludge before I apply the, uh, the decals and then take a look uh, afterwards what he looks like. And here we are with Sludge and all his uh, undecaled greatness. I mean, he looks good as is. I don't have the loose uh, knee, you know, not too much. So, I mean, yeah, they could be a little tighter, but he looks very cartoon accurate. Uh, I know that the decals will, you know, bring back some of the toy accuracy. Um, I do have a bit of a loose leg here. Um, he looks good. I mean the face sculpt is good I'm guessing they're they're gonna have something for the eyes. They usually do well, maybe more in uh, Dino mode but, and the gun looks really good again. I don't think that uh, I'm gonna see Decals for the guns because toy hacks rarely do so I mean, they did it on blaster. They added a little crosshair, but that's uh, pretty much it so you know something um, the decals will break out all the gray black and red uh, because there's a lot of it and but of course he's gonna shine more in dino mode and uh, the decals that we get are there's three sheets and I have a special little gift so this uh, here on foil backing looks pretty good and it says part two not clearly seeing eyes but sometimes there's decals that you're not sure when they're on the sheet this is vinyl uh, you're not sure sometimes the decals when they're on the sheet you're like I don't know what that is and then you apply it and you're like oh okay and then there's a whole foil chromed section uh, these here and here all look like teats which I won't apply because then that looks like a cheap wrapper and this is an extra rub symbol I don't know they sent it to me and he's very sensitive, just holding it and, whoa, just holding it, he warms up and he becomes green, so I didn't have to rub it. But that's very cool that they added that. I think that, that maybe they're noticing my, um, I purchased a lot uh, recently, and maybe they're like, oh, this is something this guy would probably get addicted to. You know what, they're probably right, because this looks really good. So I'm going to potentially, if it fits, I'm going to put it here or... Maybe on the dino, the dino modes back. So we'll see. All right. So final look at uh, sludge uh, before the decals. Mm, oh, maybe we should. Okay. Now to take a look after I apply the decals. Uh, just uh, you have a couple of extras. Uh, you know, little holes that go on the back of the dino mode. Same here. Uh, extra stuff. Um, extra pin covers um, that you actually don't need uh, these are decals you have all these eyes so I picked blue of course you can have the yellow ones 
if you want. I think the cartoon uh, comics accuracy, you go with yellow, and you have extra piece here. And then there's a lot of chrome that I didn't apply. Well, this is a uh, an extra set, so that's cool. And then you have all these teats, which again, I'm gonna show the picture of, or maybe in dino mode, but I, I didn't apply the teats because I don't want to look at, well, I don't want it to look like this. So yeah, it just didn't look good. And now to take a look at the figure, well, the accessory, the gun, nothing again for the gun, great gun anyway. And now, uh, if you take a look, starting with the foot, feet, you have this decal here, those three little dots, and have this line, which is more for the dyno mode, this too. So we're gonna take a better look at it. Nothing for the inside of the legs. Well, except the pin cover here, and same on the other side. Then uh, you have on, oh, sorry, I'm knocking. I'm always knocking my camera. On the waist, you have this part, uh, little decal here and this section here, it looks really good. Um, nothing for the actual leg. Um, could have been useful to break the black, but I'm just saying. Um, it, 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 it still looks okay. Uh, you have a decal here, have the abdomen, the chest, and then a replacement decal for the Autobot symbols. You have eye decals which are the same color as the paint, so maybe they just have a little more shine to it. You, the camera's catching it, so it's pretty neat. Uh, on the forearms, the, or the legs, uh, you have these decals here and here, looks good. Uh, the inside of the rotation, that's very G1. And then you have all around, looks really good. Same on both sides. Uh, you have decals, well, you have one in front, one in the back, and then this over the shoulder one, which I think again is very G1. Uh, that's gonna show more in dyno mode though. And uh, the interior of the wings. Uh, not that easy to apply, but it, not because they're, the decals are hard to apply, it's just hard to get a good angle with light uh, on this section. And this one pops off all the time, so that was easier actually. And so that's the robot mode. Um, one, I did have, as I said, the rub symbol. So what I did, actually added it to Bumblebee because when I was a kid, my, bu my Bumblebee had a rub symbol and I loved it. And it's these, we used to have to rub them a long time. But this, you just put your finger on it and they warm up and they're way more functional than what we had before, so. And I think it looks good. That's a bit of nostalgia for uh, for Bumblebee right there. Um, maybe I'll actually order a set of rub symbols and just add it to all my uh, my Autobots and Decepticons. So, yeah, who knows? So there you go. Uh, final look at Sludge before I'm gonna put him in Dino mode and uh, see what he looks like. And taking a look at Sludge in Dino mode. I mean, sure, there's issues. You know, big empty kip, uh, empty part here, the gun holding the legs, uh, kind of awkwardly. I mean, maybe you should have do a fold-out gun that would fit in there, you know. Um, articulation at the head, you know, looks really good. Uh, up and down, the mouth, and I love those gold teeth, so like I said, if the decals on the foil uh, the chrome sheet are for teats. Yeah, no, I'm out. I'm not doing that uh, But I do like the uh, cartoon accuracy of it. I mean he's you know the Stomach is really low <laughs> if, if, if you know if we can say that but he looks the part he looks good and uh, There's a little gapage here and there, but uh, He's uh, he's pretty good. I like him. I really like him and so now I'm going to uh, do some magic and uh, apply some decals to this guy. And here we are after the application on the dino mode. And you know, I transformed him a couple of times uh, for the review. And he's actually a fun transformation, but I do find that he's getting a little gappy. Like things. You know, don't hold super well. Like this looks good now, but it took me a while. 
I think the weapon actually does play a lot in the stability of the dino mode. So, you know, maybe something to work on for Asbro. Uh, all right, so what do we have? Uh, you can spot a lot of details. Probably the main thing that you spot is this one here, the, those chrome lines. Fun to apply, not too complicated. There's, you know, and it's three different on each side. And like I said, you have the extra decals just in case. Um, I didn't apply the uh, the teeth, as I mentioned earlier, because I like the gold teeth. And with the silver, it looks like a grill. But I did apply the uh, back of the mouth decals. Uh, so that's where I guess fire comes out. You have decals for the toes, back, uh, forward and back. You have the, arch well, not articulation, but the shoulder, I guess, decals. Uh, looks really good. Um, you have uh, little decals uh, here, 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 and here. Uh, I still have an extra for that. You have decals here, uh, just for, they're, they're not, oh, this one's misaligned. Let's see if I can fix it live. Well, I'm doing it live, you're seeing it later. Eh, okay, I'll reapply later. So this looks good. You have decals uh, here, so this is individual five times, and they each, have, well, the first and the fifth one have uh, a different pattern. So you have to be careful not to use the wrong one. I uh, could have used a little more here. Still looks good. Uh, no eye decals. Yeah, I do have a new forehead decals. Uh, just uh, to make it pop a little more. Uh, then you have the decals at the, well, the back of the back leg. You have this whole one decal here and you have four inside. And this one is coming off. I'll have to warm this up. Make it go a little better. You have this that translates from the, the uh, robot mode. Uh, looks really good. Also toes here and here. And then you have the, this decals for the toes. And then you have uh, chrome lining for the fins on the tail. Looks really good. You know who, who I'm eagerly waiting to, to see is Snarl. And the decals that are going to come for the spine the fins on the spine that's gonna be so good i'm sure toy hacks is gonna knock it out of the park and uh, what else do we have i think that's pretty much it uh it took me a while to apply but i i was just be being very careful not to you know misapply anything i'm trying to remember oh there is one i really like look at this spin cover here fits perfectly the color matching is awesome. I uh, I love uh, some good uh, pin covers. Oh, mine's a little loose at the neck, I have to say. He pops off easy. So now, uh, I don't usually do a lot of comparison on toy hacks, but uh, let's uh, bring in uh, his brothers. Interesting. And here we are with the original three. I'm eagerly waiting for the extra swoop and snarl, but to have all these three together, all toy hacks, and it's the the remain cartoon accurate. Yet the toy accuracy of the G1 uh, comes out really nice. Um, especially, you know, they all have those decals inside the uh, a shoulder or whatever part of a dinosaur that would be. And uh, I think they all look fantastic together. Um, I think out of the three. It's hard to pick. Like, this is my wife's favorite. She loves Grimlock. Never watches the show, but, uh, you know, she she likes the way he looks uh, in both uh, dinosaur and robot mode. Probably because it has been it was sitting for, like, six, seven months on top of the, uh, the TV stand until I lost 10 pounds. That's when she gave it to me, so... Anyway, um, the uh, I, I really like what they did with Sludge. Uh, he looks great with the, the others. And I think that's uh, going to be my final thoughts. I'm blown away by all of these decals. And the price is good. Uh, they're not too hard to apply. Like Compared to my blaster review, if you've seen it. Uh, man, was that a not fun set to apply. But this was fun. And then I did the review with these two together. Because I got the toy hacks at the same time. So you might want to check that out. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I love doing these videos and I hope you enjoy them. If you do, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.